Good afternoon, panelists and all the members that are there, everyone that has attended. So from the city's point of view, um, obviously being, a, as a, it was indicated, we are really the lead. We are actually holding the country in terms of this particular, um, er, uh, this particular area. And uh, what we have been, and it's, and it's a process that we have started a quite, quite a while back. And um, right at the beginning, we've always known, and I will come back to just focus a bit more on uh, digitization as being one of the reforms. We've had four reforms, uh, four reform areas that we wanted to look into. The first one being uh, looking at our turnaround times and uh, looking at efficiency, obviously, uh, looking at ways to optimize our processes just to make it easier, obviously, for business to start going on the ground and we actually start getting those jobs done. And um, also, we had to look at our how we do our inspections. So we needed to look at our race. Uh, to create a risk-based um, approach towards our, our process, which is mainly around a building plan. And this construction permitting, yeah, just so that everybody knows, in South Africa, it is really known as building plan submission all the way up to inspections and uh, obtaining an occupation certificate. So we needed to look at a risk-based approach towards, um, towards how we do our businesses. Do we have to be involved in everything? And I'll talk a little bit about that. And then obviously the one that you have asked about, which is the third reform area, which is around digitization. And if you look at what Mr. Chajoy said, actually I was quite excited because uh, it is things that we are also trying, uh, that we are grappling with and we are happy that we are here and I'll talk a little bit more about that. And obviously the fourth one, I mean, what we are bringing here is huge change, change to not just how uh, business uh, operate our businesses or uh, interact with the city, but then it is change for our, for our team, I mean, this we are moving from manual to to uh, to a digitized system. What does it mean for people that used to submit? Actually, people that used to receive application. So we needed to to really think through. Uh, and then it's something that uh, I must say in the beginning. Yes, we may. I, I can't say that it was never an issue. But then we realized just how much of an issue it is. This change management and involvement of staff and taking them through this process as we were now really getting into our digitization process. So basically now where we are, and uh, part of our uh, uh, um, uh, process optimization, we needed to reduce our turnaround times from about 90 days to 120 days to about 25 to 35 days. We needed to reduce our procedures from about 13 uh, procedures to about um, eight steps. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, and how that then translated into a digitization space. So before we got to digitization around 2019, we then said we are in this space, you know, obviously we are still looking at the best system that can be used. And, um, and there were many ideas that we were playing around with, but then we said, how can we then create a, 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 a space where the, 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 the architects can actually submit without feeling that they must go from knock door to door throughout the city. I mean, if you know, the city is quite big. We have MOEs, we have departments, we have fire that is sitting somewhere else. And then we have city power some, uh, sitting somewhere else, JRA and all of that. How then do we ensure that when they interact with the city, they are not lost in the system? And we created what we called a one-stop shop um, a, or single point of entry. And we created it in one of our floors here. And it started, you know, we started seeing traction from that. And then parallel to that, as we were optimizing our processes, we were very lucky uh, after all the areas we looked at and options in terms of digitization, we then opted to take them, the system that was produced or that was, uh, yeah, the system from the, the, uh, that was produced by the World Bank. And um, so that is how then we started working on this. And eventually from last year, in actual fact, by the time we appointed somebody that will work with the World Bank team, it was already just almost locked down. And um, just to show that everybody was so determined to make this work, eventually uh, throughout lockdown, the people were working, the team from the World Bank uh, that had worked on this system was working with our team here and our uh, local service provider who was going to be able to take our NBR uh, process and part of our land use scheme process and then putting it into a system. And um, 
as you know, and I, I know I have not talked about uh, a lot about it, but then we also realize that when you submit a building plan, most of the time you are required to submit also a site development plan, which is not an NBR process, but it is a SPLUMA process uh, and it is a land use process, but then it is an important step towards uh, submission of your building plan. And uh, we then said if that if we are to make this construction permitting system uh, work and more efficient for us, there is no way we can leave that little bit, um, that process outside of the uh, um, outside of the system. And we also looked at ways to optimize it. And for instance, uh, when we started, the turnaround time for SDP approval was about 60 days. And we have now reduced it from 60 days to about 30 days. And in actual fact, uh, in some instances, it can even be uh, uh, lower. So that, and then, then we then said that we are going to digitize that uh, whole process from submission of building plans, uh, uh, submission of an SDP, site development plan, right up to um, a, a, a issuing of an occupation certificate, which is an important document uh, in terms of the full property value chain, because then it adds into other things from, uh, from the side of the city, it affects billing, and then, uh, yeah, and et cetera, et cetera. And for instance, if it's a new development, then we can talk about transfer to uh, we can talk about transfer to other uh, 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 to individuals if it is a new green build, uh, if it's a new development. And then with that, then we started with this process. And then we are excited because if you look at one of the greatest advantages of us having taken the digi uh, this system from the World Bank is that it is an open source, so we do not have to worry about licensing. We do not have to worry about all of those things. But of course, such a modern system being plunged into a city. Uh, that has so many other systems required a lot of work. And in some instances, we picked up some of the few challenges. Like for instance, um, uh, some of the systems that are here are older and we needed to find ways or need to find ways of making all the systems work together. And then the other issue that we needed to grapple with and we are just at the end of it is the issue of uh, digitized signature. And I'll take, back, uh, take you back as well to what Mr. Tajoa said. Uh, it is about this moving back from, in, in, in actual fact, it is making the system secure. Because remember when we sign those building plans and we stamp on it and we say that this is a legit building plan approved by the city of Johannesburg, that signature is very important. So we needed to ensure that also the system, the, the signature that we bring into this system is equally uh, secure and it cannot be uh, duplicated and, uh, it has all the, the best secure, uh, security features. And we are now actually, we are happy to announce that we are now at the tail end of, of that because the system is ready. We have been working with architects actually. And I, at this point, I want to uh, thank, and, and talking about partnerships, I really want to thank um, also SACAP for coming through uh, to us because uh, coming to work with us because uh, we are going to also be linking with their with their system so that when you submit an application, uh, we can immediately check if you are a valid uh, and registered architect. And also working with them uh, as part of our reforms, we have been able to issue um, a, a communique that really and talks to the issue of removing topographic survey and geotechnical investigation, which has been a big issue that we've been grappling with, trying to and make everyone understand that this is not uh, 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 required, but then somehow it always came, uh, came, uh, came back. So for the first time, we are really excited that that, um, that step is not required. And then the architects seem to be understanding that it is not required. And um, so going forward, I mean, uh, we are really just excited and um, with the partnership as well that we've been having with our stakeholders uh, to ensure that we get onto this system. We have been doing training. We have been doing training of our staff in terms of Sense 10 400. And, uh, and to that effect, I mean, I, World Bank and IFC have really been helpful because they were able to, uh, uh, to sponsor the training for half of the staff. And um, so they actually contributed half of the full training costs, uh, which has been actually quite good. So we are now going to the second phase of our training. And um, we are engaging with architects. Uh, we have chosen a group of architects that will help us with user acceptance testing. 
uh, they will help us to see if this system really works so that they would then be the ones that in the future will start talking to everyone about this system and the fact that it is working. So we have really, I think where we are now with all the reforms that we have made and the, the way that the IFC and the World Bank team has really been pushing the city and ensuring that we do what we have to do. I can safely say that we are really almost ready now to really move and launch this uh, um, and launch this system. We are just now working at one of the things that we are, I, I can say we still need to work a little bit more on is around change management. Because now if the system is about to come, we need to start pulling now our team, especially the team that has been receiving applications because that has been their job. So now if somebody can sit in the comfort of their home or, the, or, or, or their office and submit an application, it means that we need to find a new way or, or new jobs for, for this group of, um, of uh, employees. And um, it, it, it is one thing that is now really, we are really now battling with, but then yeah, in terms of digitization, I think that is basically where, where we are and we are all quite excited about the progress that we have made even during lockdown.